while training camp has had its fair share up and downs to this point. Well, <laughs> the case for today, there has been a little bit of positivity going around. Well, minus my guy Grant Calcaterra going down with a hamstring injury and not really there being a timetable of his return to well, my unfortunate disappointment as he was one of the guys I was watching uh, at this point in time. However, that's not to say that the rest of the rookies haven't arrived as Jordan Davis, Cam Jurgens, and, well, N'Kobe Dean are making themselves pretty known. What is up, Bird Brothers and Sisters? Lindy Yenzone is in for the touchdown, taking the lead for the Philadelphia Eagles. One video or stream at a time. <laughs> yeah, I got quite a bit uh, myself personally to catch up on in terms of content. And well, as the you know, as the outside world gets a little busier around me, and uh, you know, some news on you know a bit of uncertainty going forward with a possible schedule change um, at my full-time job and may compromise uh, content in a sense of how I'm going to schedule it going forward, um, especially in terms of the LinkedIn podcast every Friday. Um, not sure what is going to happen. Not sure what is going to happen, but nonetheless, with uh, Philly Jim's departure temporarily, you can catch a guy over there or, well, here every <laughs> every Friday at 8 p.m. as I'm going to be taking over the LinkedIn podcast for the time being as I await my partner's return. But get into a little bit of a conversation here as goes for the rookies for Eagles training camp that are making their presence known with Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, uh, Grant Calcaterra before his injury. Cam Jurgens working, you know, getting some work with the ones uh, along with some of the other guys. And, well, we have heard today that, you know, Jordan Davis and Cam Jurgens going against each other in some reps. Uh, you know, Cam getting some wins, uh, Jordan Davis getting some wins. Nicobe Dean, uh, you know, really settling in at the linebacker position. And as he has talked about it at his press conference earlier today, that, you know, he appreciates that it's a nice, you know, that it's a that it's a brotherhood in there, and him really honing in on the position and and uh, making sure that he becomes or further uh, elevates himself as a student of the game. You know, wise words, wise words to say, uh, music to a lot of Eagles fans' ears, as he has been one of the uh, top favorites in one that we thought that we stole in the draft. So good start for him. <laughs> like I said, to open up the video here, unfortunately, for my man, Greg, Greg Calcaterra, not sure on the severity of his hamstring injury. Uh, he was a guy that, um, you know, I was hoping that could fight for, uh, you know, the number three tight end role. Uh, not to necessarily say the Eagles might go in keeping three tight ends uh, when it's time to uh, construct their final 53-man roster. He may end up being a practice squad stash, but um, none, nonetheless, you know, he was making some impressive, impressive catches. Um, it was said about that, uh, you know, his instincts are impressive. I think it was a, uh, I think it was a, um, I don't exactly remember who was, who was asked this question and might have, it might've been the head coach for all I remember. There was plenty of press conferences uh, that I ended up watching, uh, you know, but between, between what the coach has been, you know, between what the coach has been saying in terms of how he's organizing the practices, the way we're watching the, the way we're watching the rookies continuing to, you know, build their stock going in. It's uh, you know, it's an awesome, it's an awesome sight to hear. And even with some of the, uh, uh, the camp highlights, the, you know, short clips, it's an awesome sight to see. And, uh, you know, it just adds to, you know, it just further adds to the excitement. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll see when the time comes how they're eventually deployed uh, schematically. You have to imagine Jonathan Gannon is, uh, you know, he's on cloud nine right now with some of these guys. And uh, as long as they continue to develop, we're going to, you know, 
this 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 squad could have an elite defense now yeah it's not a stretch i don't think it's a stretch to say but um you know at the same time when you have the amount of bodies that you do um uh, you know the amount of um the amount of opportunity that gives you, you know, to have a number of rotations so you're keeping guys first. And that's, you know, that's one thing that I've uh, brought up in the past about, a co you know, a couple of streams. One one of the reasons that made our Super Bowl year so successful is that you're keeping, you know, you're keeping guys fresh coming off of the bench and, you know, rearranging ro your rotations in that way. So um, if it ends up being the case with a guy like Jordan Davis, who, well, eventually if you – um, elevate his snap count, or Nicobe Dean starts to challenge T.J. Edwards at the Mike linebacker position. When you already got guys like Hassan Reddick and Kaiser White handling between the Sam and the Will, Damian Taylor coming into the mix. Yeah, you know, there's, you know, there's a lot to look forward to, and I'm and I'm really glad that these guys are starting to show out. Only, you know, you know, only the uh, third, fourth day end of camp. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> and it's far from over, but. You know, I want you guys to share in the comments as well, you know, what you have, you know, the information you guys have been gathering, what you're hearing with the rookies, how much excitement you have on your end. But, yeah, I tell you what, it was uh, it was pretty awesome to hear. But that's going to be it for me. Just wanted to come on here and get some quick thoughts on the, uh, you know, on the rookie arrival that it is beginning for the birth during training camp. And with that said, I'll catch you guys uh, in the next video. Appreciate you watching. Fly goes fly, bleed green. You already know the deal. Take care of yourselves on this Monday, everybody. Have a good night, and I will see you next time.